Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick to the end of the video where I have a bonus question that is similar to this question where it's, you guys can try to solve using the methods that are used to solve this problem. Alright, so we have 27 to the power of x is equal to 9. And now, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to simplify 27 to the power of x a little. So 27, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in 3 to the power of 3 for 27. So now I have 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 9. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is actually equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x, we can think of a as 3 in this case, m as 3, and n as x. So this would be equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 3 times x. 3 times x is simply 3x, so I have 3 to the power of 3x is equal to 9. Now 9 here, this is the same thing as 3 squared. So I have 3 to the power of 3x is equal to 3 squared. And now another property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. Because if the base is here, these two are the same, then this means the exponents are the same as well. So now for 3 to the power of 3x is equal to 3 to the power of 2, this means that the exponents, 3 to the power of x, or sorry, 3x and 2, these two are the same. So now we have a simple equation, 3x is equal to 2, so now if I divide both sides by 3, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 2 over 3. Now to check, I'm going to plug in 2 to the x equals 2 to the power of 3 in the equation 27 to the power of x equals 9. So now I have 27 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 9. Now to solve 27 to the power of 2 over 3, this is the same thing as the cube root of 27 squared. Now 27 squared, that's equal to 729. So now I have the cube root of 729 is equal to 9. And the cube root of 729 is equal to 9. So I have 9 is equal to 9 because this is right. We know that our solution x equals 2 over 3 is right. All right, so now I have a similar problem to this one, and let's see if you guys can solve it. So my problem is a to the power of x is equal to 32. And now I'll ask you guys to pause the video and attempt to solve this problem. All right, so I'm assuming you guys tried to solve this problem. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite 8 here as 2 over 3, 2 to the power of 3, because 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 32. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, this is going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x. 3 times x is 3x, so I have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 32. Now 32, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. So now I can replace 32 with 2 to the power of 5. So now I have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. 
So for 2 to the power of 3x equals 2 to the power of 5, these two are equal to each other, so I have 3x is equal to 5. Now if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 5 over 3. Now another way of doing this problem, a to the power of x is equal to 32, is to take the log on both sides. So I have log a to the power of x is equal to log 32. And now an important property of logarithms is that if I have log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would actually equal b times log a. So log a to the power of x here, I can move my exponent x here to the front, so this is going to equal x times log 8. Now this is equal to log 32. Now I can divide log 8 on both sides. These two will cancel out, so I'm left with x is equal to log 32 over log 8. Now 32, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 5, and 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have log 2 to the power of 5 over log 2 to the power of 3. Now remember, log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I have b times log a. So I'm going to do that for both of these. So for log 2 to the power of 5, I'll move 5 to the front. For log 2 to the power of 3, I'll move 3 to the front. So now I have x, oops. So now I have x is equal to 5 times log 2 over 3 times log 2. Now these log 2s can simply cancel out. So I'll be left with x is equal to 5 over 3. Now to check, we have a to the power of x is equal to 32. x is equal to 5 over 3. So I have a to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now I can a to the power of 5 over 3 is the same thing as the cube root of a to the power of 5 is equal to 32. Now for a to the power of 5, that is equal to, I can plug that into my calculator here, 32,768, and the cube root of that is 32. So 32 equals 32 meaning x equals 5 over 3 is right. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have a to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now, 8, this is the same thing as 4 times 2, right? So now I'm going to write this as a to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2. And now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, we can write this as a to the power of m to the power of n. Or we could also write this as a to the power of n to the power of m. It doesn't matter the order because they're both being multiplied and multiplication or doesn't matter. So now I'm going to write this as to the power of a is equal to 
2 squared to the power of 4. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this would equal 2 to the power of 2 times 4. However, I am not going to do that. I'm simply going to take solve what's in the parentheses. So 2 squared, and that is equal to 4. So now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to a to the power of a. Now, if we have something in the form x to the power of x is equal to y to the power of y, and this means that x is equal to y as long as x is less than, or sorry, greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, a is equal to 4.